Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. It go surprise you, not be smart in and our trading of words. So now I go on for a rice TV. Hey, my people. Hey, now Ruben Abati and um, and uh, our brother Asirida Kubo. Asirida Kubo say, you know what? I will not be weak. I go rob you for gutter. If you talk to me, I go rob you for gutter. Everybody come the shock. See, Asirida Kubo, what's going on? Calm down. They say no. Say you need to calm down. They say no. Mona not tell me. I know they calm down anything. Say Asirida Kubo, you know you they do so because this guy. Now he stay, stay, stay. One day, now he say, where say, eh, hey, wait till I uh, apple for Niger data. They say, now, yeah, tip, say, now, people talk plenty full granite and say, come, 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 you come, you come. You are a suspect, you come. Which people wanting you yourself come, wait till happen. You know, many people call, look, the guy say, you, eh, you, I, you, you know. So, the thing don't cost a lot of, uh, a lot of matters as we they speak. So, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details as we understand what's going on i am not weak ill. i will take you to the gutters i will rob you there as i read the kubo issued warning to ruben abati a former ninja militant as I read the kubo has issued a strong warning to nigerian journalist ruben abati to stop propagating lies about him <laughs> Late Nigeria report that Dakubo has remained a topic of discussion in recent times after his visit to President Bola Metinubu last month. The ex-militant during an interview identified the biggest location of Oye tips in Nigeria and called for the continued detention of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Nandi Kano. His statement was widely condemned by many political elites and Nigerians, but Asari Dekubu seemed unapologetic about his words. In a video making rounds online, Asari Dekubu slammed Ruben Abati Why? recalling how he had benefited from the government, he did nothing in return. He further warned the People Democratic Party, PDP, shifting to desist from spreading falsehood about him as he would not hesitate to deal with them. He wrote, if you do not you do anything or you do anyhow, you will see anyhow. After acquiring a toilet certificate, people weren't, weren't supposed to, were not supposed to talk on the talk, but not things you did, which nonsense things you did talk about. Useless things like you. You are, a break, you are a broke journalist who wants to create mischief and create falsehood. You are, a fail, you are failed woefully. R Ruben Abati, you be journalist. Ruben Abati, who has eaten from the government and has never worked for the government, who cannot survive after outside handout from people and the brown envelope. Look, Ruben Abati, you have known me. And not be like we kill. Anyhow, you want them, I will give you. Where you taught in school, lift lies and propagate and propagate it. You think say you are talking to someone. You cannot hit me. You trust me. You should know me by now. This is how you raise all manner of hell on um, a was issue in Lagos, and you failed woefully. You should be ashamed that you were a deputy governor to a drug addict borrow you cannot blackmail me you have no morals you have nothing other than a certificate that grants you doctor of nothing ruben abati i promise you to i promise to take you to the gutters and drag you there and you will never come out of it you are bold in criticizing others but you embezzled money during good luck billy jonathan's administration and you did nothing and you are asking me for what? Be careful. So now our brother Siri Dakubu, now you hear the talk so. Not be small warning. You hear as they warn him. You hear as they warn our brother. You the hear for yourself. You the hear with your with your own ear. Now so things be you. Now so things be. Every time where you they see what it they happen, it's just it's just very unfortunate to mention, but if you, you know, it's very unfortunate. And um you the see for yourself. Because if we really want this thing to move forward, 
if we really want this thing to progress, it is it is a very serious, you know, honest, sincere position for us to rise up. This is Sari the couple we are talking about. Now, this man I, you know, go meet Tinubu uh, uh, for presidential villa come talk say we say the Nigerian army and I they steal the the you know the crude oil talk plenty things full grab and guess what the Nigerian army where the Sabi call out people when Sabi go south is go drag people could not say a single word why because it's got the backing of the big boss it's got Tinubu on his side you see, where say the Nigerian army, they be yeah yeah people they get uh oh yeah well themselves now then they destroy the nation not be smoting a talk full ground and guess what it say not be it not be weak kill uh, you know say because uh, they talk of weak we cannot do anything if ruben about you try and hear we ain't here he go show ruben about you say we say nine be chairman and he go call ruben about you and say we say nine be chairman anyway my people you they see and say everything it don't spell out as we they see you know, nobody go just uh, you know, nobody go just sit down there, you know, and begin to and begin to keep quiet and begin to is wrong. What is wrong is wrong. You know, what is wrong is wrong. You know, what is wrong is wrong. So my people, it is a shameful thing to mention but a few. Okay, some of those things that are being done. It is a shameful thing. Very shameful. You know, if, for instance, he can do whatever he wants to do and get away with it. And nobody will talk. Even when he's wrong, for instance, he was holding weapon and, you know, a picture of him holding weapon when he was threatening the Igbos. You know, the military has not gone after him. Is he right? No. Remember a Nigerian pastor in Abuja that brought uh, guns to the pulpit when he was preaching and for whatever he was trying to illustrate, he brought guns. Did you know that the government of Nigeria, the, uh, the, the Nigerian military went after him? But for Sri Dakobo, it's okay. You don't understand it. There are things we must not do because actions. So when the, when the pastor did it, they called out the pastor and what have you. But well, Serida Kubo has done it and it's okay. You know, it's okay. Nigeria, uh, this country, now God will help us. Many things, they happen or things full ground. Or the truth be say, we're not going to let the same thing hold us down. Because um, if we if we keep quiet and we not speak, things go go bad. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.